Hello horror fans and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, top 5 scary videos, that strange haunted old house up on that pixelated internet hill where it's probably not the greatest idea to linger for too long. What's going on guys and as per usual I'll be your spirit guide Jack Finch as we ramble on into the deep depths of paranormal cinema, check our sounds for a good old ghost story and take a look at the top 5 scary Ed and Lorraine Warren movies. Roll the clip. Who's ever down there I'm gonna lock you in now? Now I'm sure you're all aware it's no big secret that all of us here at Top 5 Scary Videos are huge fans of the Ed and Lorraine Warren franchise and we enjoy nothing more than tucking into a big plate of spooky occult Warren glory, be it on the silver screen or the peculiar paranormal legends that surround them. Since James Wan first brought The Conjuring to our screens in 2013, it's safe to say that the world has been obsessed and while not all of them have hit the mark, the franchise has spawned some pretty fantastic horror films. So let's take a look. Before we do that though, horror fans you know how it is by now if you're a fan of this video, The Warrens, The Conjuring Universe or just top 5 scary videos in general then be an absolute dear and hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest uploads. If you'd like to get in touch with the creative team here over at Top 5 Scary then feel free to take a peek at the info box below. On with the show. Kicking us off at number 5, The Conjuring 2. Till death. Wait, I don't understand. I Please, I <laughs> yep, not the first one, or the third, the second, because while it's not quite what we're looking for at the higher end of this list, it's still a damn good horror flick and portrays the Warrens during some of their more testing times as paranormal investigators. If you've never seen a James Wan Conjuring film, then this isn't probably the best place to start, but for fans of the franchise, The Conjuring 2 definitely hits the mark. Written by Chad and Kerry Hayes and released in 2016, The Conjuring 2 follows Ed and Lorraine Warren after the events of the first film and their journey to Britain to unravel the strange case of the Enfield poltergeist. This is also the film where Valak the Nun gets fleshed out quite a bit more, leading the way for its own standalone film which was eh, not my cup of tea but it made for a pretty terrifying creature feature for The Conjuring 2. It plays a lot on what James Wan is good at as well, long, slow, panning set pieces, an almost Hitchcockian use of silence tied together through the supernatural sheen that Ed and Lorraine are so famous for. And next up at number four, the Amityville Horror. Out the window. Well, I, I better check and make sure she's not still there, huh? And no, not the steaming pile of garbage that was the 2005 remake, but the gloriously over the top 1979 original, directed by Stuart Rosenberg and based on the book of the same name by Jay Anson. You probably already know the story as it paved the way for Ed and Lorraine Warren franchise long before James Wan sank his teeth into the Conjuring universe and focuses on the tragic tale of the DeFeo family murdered by their oldest son, Ronald. The story takes place later on as the Lutz family move in, otherwise unaware of the events that have earlier transpired inspired and witness a series of strange paranormal occurrences culminating in evidence of demonic possession. Yeah, I get it, this film was torn apart by critics on release but it's a horror treasure and it was one of the most successful independent horror films of earlier times. Also freaking James Brolin leads the cast and everyone loves that guy right? Not a lot can be said for the story because in actuality it's pretty weak and doesn't even feature the Warrens but what makes this film great is the delivery by the cast. They believed the house that they were in was incredibly haunted and it definitely shows on film. Speaking of Haunted, swing it in at number three, The Haunted. Protect us, don't let it kill my children. Now, this whole film is on YouTube, so if you want to take a look, then be my guest, because although it may not seem it on the surface, this is actually one pretty terrifying horror flick. Directed by Robert Mandel, guest director for both The X-Files and Lost, The Haunted was released in 1991 by Fox and went straight to television, which is why this may have shot underneath most people's radars. Starring the awesome Sally Kirkland as the family's perturbed mother Janet, The Haunted focuses on the story of the Smurl family, a case investigated by Ed and Lorraine Warren in Pittston, Pennsylvania. Allegedly, the Smurl family were under siege by a demonic entity between the years of 1974 and 1989, which assaulted the family by emanating revolting odours, throwing their dog into a wall, shaking their beds at night, pushing one of their daughters down a flight of stairs, and even physically and sexually assaulting Jack Smurl, the family's father, which is probably the most disturbing scene in the entire film, so yeah. 
I'm just gonna let that linger there. Coming in at number two, Annabelle Creation. Your soul. You might ask yourself, why didn't the first Annabelle make this list? And my answer will be, because it was freaking terrible. And you know guys, I'm not in the market for that. You guys deserve better. Which is why we have Annabelle Creation, one of the few films in the Conjuring universe that truly stands alone as a piece of horror cinema, rather than just a variation on theme for the franchise. Which is funny really, because in actuality, the Annabelle doll played a very small part in the Warren's paranormal career. I guess we just love getting scared senseless by a porcelain doll, right? Annabelle Creation, released in 2017, was directed by David F. Sandberg, the man responsible for the awesomely inventive Lights Out, and who was also responsible for putting the Conjuring franchise back on track after John Leonetti's questionable display with 2014's Annabelle. I don't have any more to say than the fact that Annabelle Creation is a great horror film and you should watch it. And finally, our number one spot, The Conjuring. Ow! Bathsheba! By the power of God, I condemn you back to hell! Yep, the first one. You knew there was no way we could leave this one out, right? Not a chance, because this is where what I like to call the second Warren wave truly began and sparked a creepy little candle in the hearts of young and old horror fans the world over. It's pretty crazy for me because for some of you, this will be the equivalent of The Exorcist or The Shining, the movie that made you realize you were a fan of horror cinema. And I'm fine with it being The Conjuring because it's a damn good horror flick. In a time where horror cinema relied solely on jump scares and cheap thrills, I'm looking at you, paranormal activity, The Conjuring stood up and said, nah, I can make this scarier with a bit of a story. A ghost story, in fact. A creepy, well-crafted, slow-burning paranormal thriller that sits and lingers in your head based on and grounded in folklore, urban legend and demonology. And it does it well, canonizing both Ed and Lorraine Warren as true legends of horror fiction. Well, that's my list, guys. What about yours? Speak your mind in the comment box down below. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. If you'd like to continue on with your your horror binge then feel free to hit that playlist floating shortly above as per usual i've been your host jack finch you've been watching top five scary videos and until next time you take it easy